Well, I've come back to a place uh, that I came to a couple of years ago and hopefully they don't remember me. I made a bit of an arse of myself. Uh, when I came here a couple of years ago, I didn't drink espresso. I had no idea what espresso was. Uh, I was totally uneducated about the tastes of uh, an espresso. What an espresso looked like, what it should taste like. I've learned a lot since then. I've actually come to Mug Cafe and Bistro. It's a delightful place. Hopefully they've uh, forgotten who I am because I feel embarrassed now. Cop my cab. Cafe Tini Aloy, mate. The Met Majak Nakeup, Sir Met Tea Nakeup. Tap Sadep, D Jang Lui, Kop Makap, De Nam Ron Duai, Kop Makap, Kop Makap. Wow. Hopefully they've forgotten me. Uh, I've ordered a uh, a dark bean. Espresso. The espresso here is 50 baht, reasonable price. Uh, the ambience when you come into the door, into the place, uh, it's slightly, um, slightly sort of tired at the moment, but it's it's all right. It looks nice, and uh, when you come here, it's very, very nice. A bit of road noise in the background, but that's not to worry. It's a very nice place. There's nice rice barns and that sort of thing behind, and it's nicely decorated here in the garden. There's some lovely flowers and that, you know, plants that you can look at. It's a place to have a, a, a casual meeting and uh, come and have a chat with friends. Anyway, to the coffee. Now that is very nice. As the gentleman said who served me here, he said it came from Tep Sudep. Uh, and that is up beyond May On. Uh, the Tep Sudep is uh, a mountain area where they sell, uh, sorry, grow uh, and sell uh, beans to many people here in Chiang Mai and uh, you know, afar. This coffee is delicious. Now, just let, let me show you this. This is called a creamer. And for anybody that uh, doesn't drink uh, coffee or let, let, let alone uh, espresso, uh, you've probably wondered what all the fuss is about with a creamer. Well, the creamer is in actual fact the result of the, uh, the gases in the uh, coffee being released uh, during the extraction process. And it forms a head on the top. Uh, I'm going to really impress you now. Uh, uh, James Hoffman said it was uh, actually named by an Italian guy. And uh, he, he was the guy that uh, you know, invented the gaggia. Gaggia. That's the brand of coffee machine. Anyway, I diverse. The, the blue, the big foot I put in, hmm. well, the big mistake I made when I came here a couple of years ago was, I, mean, I think I've told you this before, uh, I used to try to drink latte and I got fed up with having a moustache and also fed up with the amount of foam on the top and very little coffee and I said okay let's try what an, an Australian person had um, introduced me to and that was a flat white well I then tried to convert Chiang Mai to changing lattes to flat whites whenever they served me and that was really hard work so I was asking for uh, a latte rawn, myao nom frong, which is the nom, the milk, and the frong, the foam, uh, myao nom frong on the top. And of course, I always got nom frong because their recipe was always the same and they didn't like to differ from their recipe. I ended up with scooping that off on a regular basis just to see how much coffee there was below. Three quarters of a cup of coffee and I, yeah, uh, Anyway, I had fun. I, I gave up then drinking lattes because I wanted to stop drinking milk because I, I felt my, I'm very, I'm always very weight conscious and I felt that the milk was uh, adding to uh, the little bit of weight I was putting on. So I went to Americano because after all, you can't mess up Americano, can you? Yeah, you can. 
Americano is literally a, a shot of espresso with a lot of hot water. And, you know, you've got a little bit of coffee in the bottom and then the most of the cup is hot water. Sometimes it's so full, so little coffee, so full of water that there's no taste of coffee at all. And that then drove me to find espresso, which was a decent taste of coffee. So my, my route from latte to Americano, and you know, I was asking for Anglatano, and uh, they, they, they didn't understand what I meant, but I was asking for a black coffee, and I just wasn't getting the taste. So I ended up with espresso. Now, this was one of the first places I came to, and they served me an espresso Natural fact, I think it must be the first place I came to and asked for an espresso. I sat down and looked at this creamer on the top and I thought, what the hell is that? And I scooped it off with a spoon, just as I'd been doing my lattes and the froth on the top, because I thought, once again, I've got lots of froth and no coffee. You know, you, know, you can see the idiot in me, can't you? Well, all this froth that came off the top, I scooped it into the saucer. After a while, I thought, this is ridiculous. I went up to the guy at the counter. I said, excuse me. I said, I asked for an espresso and you've given me a short black coffee with a load of froth. I can fall about laughing now, as I hope you can. But unfortunately, I, I made a right idiot of myself as I realised immediately after leaving here and investigating what espressos were really all about and I've come to enjoy and love. Now, this espresso with the froth on the top, this creamer, this creamer on the top is delicious. And I just wished I'd never come here before to make an idiot of myself and scoop that cremer off. It's delicious. Mm. It's very nice. I actually, I actually think they give me a double shot. They've given me quite a full cup here. It's very tasty, so the double shot that comes out. What happens in, a, in an espresso machine, you sometimes get the little things like this. Well, they put a big basket in and they fill it up with 18, 20 grams of coffee and then they put two glasses, two glasses underneath each spout, a glass underneath each spout. And therefore, some coffee shops actually throw away one of those uh, glasses and only give you a single because the next, next customer is going to get the second glass. Well, in this case, I think I've got both glasses and I'm very, very happy. It's a long, it's not a longo, which is uh, almost like a, a lungo, which is almost like a, an Americano. Uh, no, this, this is a, uh, a a double shot that I have here. A single shot is smaller. Yeah, and I'm talking like an expert here, aren't I? And here's the same place I made a right arse of myself. Anyway, the, the welcome you get here is very, very nice. Uh, they're very friendly people, um, <laughs> thankfully. And uh, yeah, I'd recommend coming here. is a fabulous rice barn. Uh, it's on stilts and it uh, has a beautiful wooden construction. Uh, they've actually turned it into uh, a little seating area here. It's very, very attractive. Very, very nice indeed. Well, here we have some old photos of Chiang Mai, the, the old wall I'm sure many of you have seen before. I actually belong to a, a Facebook group called um, Siam Memories and if you get a chance check it out I'll leave a link below um, it's a group that publishes uh, images and stories of old Thailand and you get a lot there about um, history throughout history a long ago history not just recent 20 30 years of stuff that is obvious to us today uh, the, the wonderful photographs that, that uh, we see on this Facebook page 
are brought to us sometimes by family members who have got you know great 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 grandfather's uh, interest in the photograph uh, it's wonderful because when I started doing my videos about history, uh, that I was lifting the corner of the carpet, just a little bit of the corner of the carpet, it feels, uh, I was finding that there was so much to be found here uh, after you had dug down, dug down, dug down, that, I've, that I was daunted by the, the passion that many people have. And I hope that if you were to go there and look at that Facebook page, uh, you too can appreciate their passion too. So uh, as I say, I'll leave a link below to, to that uh, Facebook page. There's a bit of a, another bit of a funny here. Let me look. Yeah, the sign behind actually is spelt correctly. These, are, these orange signs here have been uh, cut out like a template. Uh, so the dark uh, writing on it is actually see-through. Well, they've gone to a lot of trouble. It's not just a, a poster, you know? You can't just reprint it. But they've gone to a lot of trouble to cut these, and they cut a load, and they've put them out the front and along the road and so on. And somebody made a spelling mistake. And they actually had uh, mug, cafe, and bisto. Well, the coffee doesn't taste like gravy. I can t assure you of that. The coffee is absolutely delicious. Yum. So I'm glad I've come here. Thank you so much for joining me on this uh, rather wordy video. I hope you've enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.